out on a prairie project tonight, treating black locust sprouts. So we came in last year and cut these all down, but when you don't treat black locusts before you cut them, they re-sprout from the root system like crazy. And this is pretty much what you get. I'll walk around for a little bit and show you. I'm pretty much done. And then I'll show you the method for treating these things. You can see the stem density in here is really high, all the way over to that building, all the way down to the area that we cleared and seeded as an oak savanna last year, and down all the way to the white pines, and up to the top of the hill here. Black locust root suckers, anywhere from one to two inches at the biggest over there on the other end. And most of them, as they get out from the main root stem, get smaller and smaller. I'll show you how we treat these things now. This is all I got left from a gallon of product mix at 2% amino pyrrolid in basal oil with blue dye. So a gallon treated pretty much this whole site. And just a paint roller in a pail. Roll it off. And you paint it on both sides of the stem. Up one, down the other. Go to the next one. And that's pretty much it. This is the back side of this one here. You can get in and pretty much get all these treated without touching anything else. Most things are still dormant around here on April 14th or whatever it is today. But yeah, pretty much no residual effects on anything around here because everything's dormant. And uh, Black locust will try and sprout and grow a little bit and then they'll peter out. So back behind me and a little bit in front of me here we got black locusts that I treated last year the same way that we treated those um, the younger saplings and seedlings and sprouts from on the other side here but last year I treated before we came in and cut these down treated them and you can see now that they are all dead. I treated these about two weeks after we cut all those over there. And when you cut it, the root system responds with a flush of growth out of all the nodes and just sends up root system suckers all over the place. Kill them first. You can look down in here and you'll see that there is not a single one anywhere. No suckers at all. You can get in here and walk around. It's not poking you in the arms and neck and catching your hat. It's just easier to work in. And now you can come in and cut these down. They are dead and dried out. And the whole system or root system, dead. And we're not wanting these to re-spread into here because this was all black locust down this side and up along this back side where the tree tubes are was really dense. And trying to turn this back into oak savanna here. All right, that's gonna do it for tonight. I wrapped up back to the truck here. I'll show you quick kind of how we put this away. Just take the bucket there and get yourself a lid and put a pretty tight hole right in the middle of that lid. And it slides right on down.
Sounds really weak. <laughs>